Are you, uh, Mr. Raiden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey, you're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> oh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! Anything? Nothing. You sure we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in.
Do you see that? Their EXIF codes show up as unaffiliated. Wait, Marshall has the security contract for the space. Why would they have their cyborg set to the same illegal EXIF code as Desperado? It's evidence against them. No, it's their alibi. They're making it look like Desperado hacked their soldiers on site, because everyone knows Desperado has a contract with... The Pakistani rebels. Oh, but if we go public with the desperado Marshall connection... Won't matter. Not when they've got this nice big foreign threat all cooked up and ready to serve. The media and the public won't be able to resist. Remember WMDs in Iraq? Damn it, you're right. It's another slam dunk. What about any humans on the base? Marshall only handled security. Dead, most likely. Or brain jacked, if they needed them to keep up appearances. Huh. They'd never publicize what airport the president was flying into. Not in this region. And almost no one would have access to an outside line for security reasons. It wouldn't be difficult to keep things hush-hush. At least until Air Force One arrives. I'm heading for the control tower. If I can destroy the antenna array, the U.S. military will know something's wrong. Good idea. Be careful. Sam's gone. And I blew the winds of destruction away. I'll be fine. Ryden, there is no time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Time to worry about the soldiers. Get to the control tower. Oh, my God. 
Bism Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. <laughs> Ryder, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... Story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. The story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic. But nothing to start a major war over. That's just a spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism. Unilateralism. Materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value. The economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war. Especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of a Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> and the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. Of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message!
slippery little bastard! I don't have time for this. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Yeah! 
One day, every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it! A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee! Where the law changes to suit the individual, not the other way around! Where power and justice are back where they belong! In the hands of the people! Yeah! Where every man is free to think, to act for himself. Fuck all these lunatic lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats. Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit. <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged. And the strongest will thrive. Free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own 
Sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Uh, 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 maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the weak, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight and steal and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life. And now, I'll take yours.
Die, you piece of shit! think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good boy. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck.
Anthony. Brighton? Brighton! You know what? Fuck me. I just want to do this.
in response. Raiden! Raiden! Ready or not, Jack!
Your dream dies with you. Oh. oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War will continue as an institution. As an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Oh, oh, oh. But at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> You don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it.